Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Stormblood! So we're back here with the Rising Stones where our journey is going to continue, but let's see what our buddies have been up to in the meantime. This might be the same place we last left them off a long time ago, but that's alright. Doesn't hurt to see what they've been up to. What's up girl? Yeah, she's up at the restaurant, which she'll be for quite a while. Alright, yeah, you do you, buddy. We all need to mourn for Papa Lima, because heaven knows the game is not going to do it. Well, we already know how you feel on the matter, and you kind of came and kink shaming her this whole time, so let her do her, okay? Hilarious as it is. Yeah, if it's consensual. Not gonna knock it. These two are still the absolute best. Um, someone in one of my uh, Discord server, I'm Suggested we call these guys the Grand Bros, and yeah, we're gonna call them that for now on because I freaking love these two. We need to get you guys some card games or something, alright? What's up, girl? Well, gee, I wonder if this magical exclamation point above your brother's head is going to bring us that very news. Is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Balesar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Did you see the massive shadow of my extremely tall body over you? Man, you really are lost in thought, bruh. Holy crap, you just jumped on those stairs. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Th they're all right here! Yes, just yell! We're like, guys, meeting! Can we get like a cowbell or something? Just like ring the bell or something to get everyone in the office? Anything? General Oldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Balesar's wall. But did you put all the fires though? That, that's kind of an important point. Like, the place was burning. Uh, pretty bad. Well, I suppose that title would put it out, but whatever. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Oh, but of course. As expected. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what we do around here. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Balesar's wall is... open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. They invaded Alamigo first! Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. Yeah, but they're also kind of incompetent schmucks, so yeah, how are we gonna do that? We just can't be, you know, march on Alan Megan Stone and say, Hey, Empire! You're being kind of douchebags! Do you mind getting the fuck out of here? 
However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Why do we even need someone with connection? Hey! Hey guys, the Alliance would like to help you get the, the Empire off your soil. Is it okay if we help? Not that hard. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! Then why did you give that dramatic pause, you silly? As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Of course. Of course you would! Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? At least you can punch your way out of everything. You're fine! I mean, I got your back, but you got this, girl. Come on! Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. Okay, but who's gonna stay at the headquarters then? I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. Yeah, I just said that, girl! About nowhere on the same page, though. I trust you have no objections. She's like, yeah, you stay here. You've no, still been right. a bad boy. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. Okay, fine. You do that. It is settled, then. Let us each see to our preparations. Yeah, we need to pack a bunch of lunch boxes and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm thinking of making some peanut butter sandwiches. Um, maybe some cheese noodles for good measure. Um, let's see, what kind of juice boxes should we bring? Good on you, girl. Oh, hey, where were you two like 20 minutes ago? It's fine, we'll be fine. Yeah, and the rest of you actually, you know, do your jobs for once. Oh, okay, okay, girl. Please, 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 please keep your fantasies to your inner monologue, if you will. I'm not gonna kick shame, but. Yeah, I'm right here. Hi. I know, and this this guy is like the only poor guy over here who's, you know, still thinking about poor Pavolimo and the sacrifice he made for us. Everyone else is like, yep, we still got our job to do and stuff. Yeah, let's let's be about it. Dude, your friend is dead! Sorry guys, walking over the table. Collision and all that. It's all right to be nervous. It's okay, girl. It's all right. Oh, how convenient. She couldn't even say farewell. Hey, thanks for healing us up. No, none of that? Okay. Ready, my friend? Well, that's what I'm here for. Well then, 
Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. What's up, guys? Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabania? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. You're done, good girl. You repaid your death and stuff. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Your pug? Your pug. Guys, guys. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's toll stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kosetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home, too. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. Let all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the far east, that they may rise up. Oh, Take care, that. you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well. No group hug? Oh, come on, guys. Didn't even make sure everyone was in a nice little uh, circle over here. Sadness. I mean, I'm sure they probably heard Gosetsu from all the way across the room, but... She gets new duds finally too. Um, one little problem there, Tataru. Um, why did you not give this the care that everyone else got? I mean, I'm glad we gave her a sports bra and all that, because, you know, given her action, she kind of needed one, but it looks like you just got that shirt of goodwill ripped off the sleeves and had a couple belts on it. Like, she didn't even get new pants! You forgot the pants, Tataru! Let us walk away from the camera! Right into the door. I would say the setting sun, but we're kind of on the inside. All right. So back over to East Stride we go. What's up, guys? What's going on again?
Probably. Elbow was cray cray anyway. Yeah, and we still don't know the fate of that staff. Sadness. Hi, officer. I'm right here. Elfie says I should tell you when we're ready, and I'm telling you we're ready. I'm, I'm not sure why we need an escort, because I'm the warrior of light, but... Maybe I just need a quick path through all the carnage, so I don't have to, you know... Jump over all the discarded pieces of metal and probably bodily remains. We're just going to assume that. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow Scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Y'all gonna put those fires out? Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. So we're here on the other side. Sweet. So first thing we need to do, and don't forget to do this, is we need to attune to the Aetherite. And sadly, once again, we cannot fly. Eh, I just, I just jump in vain and I, I don't take off majestically with glitter and sparkles behind me and tails wagging, unfortunately. Which kind of stinks. So, we have to gather Aether Currents and do quests and stuff to fly in the zones once again. Let's see, we can't really see much on the map over here. Sadness. So, how's it feel to be in uh, Netherlands territory, guys? Alright, All right, we're gonna shed tears of happiness, okay? I don't know why you didn't, you know, back when Ishgard rejoined the Alliance and stuff, but... It's a good point. Like, it's just the other side of the wall. Like, I'm gonna get rid of this. Because it's gonna bother me. And then we'll go talk to Ravon. No. I don't need a chocobo. I just need to get rid of that giant exclamation point above your head. Sub General, what do you got for me today? Yeah, it also like shot down one of their airships when it got like too close and just nuked the heck out of it. So yeah, they might be a little pissed off. Said, what the hell are you doing here? 
I swear you were stalking us. You always just randomly show up. Well, I suppose he's got a point there. Like, he's the one, you know, him and Nero are the ones who kind of sicked Omega on Chinryu anyway, so. Taking it upon themselves to try to track it down. Alright, I suppose I can give you that one, Sid. Alright. Why he needed to take a pit stop in town? I don't know. Maybe he needed lunch or something. Off the table. That's rude. Yeah, let them take care of all that bullcrap. They're the ones who started it. Scenery, you're in the way. Oh my god, I'm sorry about this camera angle. Ugh. It's like snapping back to it. Ugh. Very funny, Cryo. Very funny. You know that's exactly what's gonna happen, right? Okay. Cool. So let us ride! Yeah, I'm not gonna bother getting any ether rate cur uh, ether currents along the way. We're just gonna do that entirely off screen, so we can just go unimpeded through this place without taking any pit stops. Of course, I aggro an angry little tree, but that's all right. We'll be fine. Yeah, but if you don't, well, I suppose it's 1:30 in the morning. But if you're not hearing the birds chirping, that's that that's kind of scary because you know all of a sudden somebody's gonna show up because something spooked him off it's the way it always goes Yeah, what about Cryo though? She's kind of short. Yeah, but Tree, I wasn't anywhere near you. See, I actually have to- it feels very, very weird having to like walk across the bridges and stuff now. And pulling everything because I can't fly over everything. But it's all right. As well, take in the scenery while we're here. It's surprisingly bright out. Well, I suppose it's no light pollution, but surprisingly bright out for two a.m. hours in time. Wait, what? Well, why the hell didn't you guys already cross if that's the case then? Come on, I don't need you to hold my hand across water. Although these currents do look a bit on the swift side. Remember guys, water is still very dangerous even if it's only knee deep. Oh, well, there's a giant imperial flag hanging off it. Gee, I wonder who controls it.
I think that's the point, least that you can see the banner from miles away. They're marking their territory, be like, hey, hey bitches, we own this place now. Yeah, what? It's not very deep, but it is moving very quickly, so still kind of dangerous. Hopefully the rest of them, you know, aren't linked chain to make sure Kryal didn't, you know, get swept away by it, because it's probably, like, shoulder deep on her. What? Yeah. yeah short people jokes. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm being attacked by a giant bird. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We got this. We're totally ignoring you. Sorry, bud. I'm on a mission. Imperials may be on my ass. But yeah, all across the zone here, you can see... Yeah. Now, why there hasn't been salvage operations for these by the Resistance, that, that I couldn't tell you. Because you never know when scrap metal might come in handy. It's like, wow, we did not end up in mortal danger. Wow, this is great. <laughs> no, we're not there yet. Do you see a big sign this is Ralgus Reach? No, we're not there yet. Well, if it's on the other side of the path, we're not here yet. Very funny joke, Lise. Very, very funny. Dude, you guys are Charlene's. How did you not see through this trick, like, in three seconds? Oh shit, I gotta hide my weapon. Crap. Well, I don't see still anything different. Well, you should. Alright, you guys are well-educated people, alright? No, no, I've certainly never used one, Alize. No, no, I totally wear these carbuncle slippers in the combat all the time. The adorableness fools my enemies, and that is how I kick primal ass so much. They're like, oh my god, are those carbuncle slippers? And then, bam, I smack them to death. All right, uh, let's go. I love Elise is just running ahead of everybody. And we're all just slowly walking. I remember the old stories. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. 
for what could be ours again. Well, I see this is the welcoming committee. So yeah, we've already reached our second zone. Awesome. So thank you for watching, my friends, and I shall see you next time.